um, basically two types of non-hydraulic common rail injectors now. We have electromechanical solenoid based like I've been holding up and piezo look I do not have a sample of for this program. And the piezos will be a little bit uh, different. They're newer on typically newer applications, 2010 and newer on average, depends on the model. So let's go ahead and get into our electromagnetic solenoids first, the most common out there on the road. Works very similar to what you see in a gasoline injector. We have a coil of wire. We're going to apply voltage to that coil of wire and that's going to create an electromagnet. It's going to be like a relay or any other kind of solenoid. It's going to pull up and that's going to allow the fuel to flow. But it's not quite that simple. So I think we have an illustration to show you a little bit more how it works coming up. Before I do that, let's talk about the second type and that's the piezo. Piezo injector is a lot different. First off, the normal resistance of any coil that you're used to measuring, whether it be an ignition coil, uh, a coil inside of a solenoid for a starter motor, or in the case of these coils in gas or diesel injectors, a few ohms, a few ohms, seven tenths, two ohms, 10 ohms, a few ohms. What we'll see on piezo are hundreds of thousands of ohms. They work a lot differently than a normal electromechanical solenoid. Now these again are on newer diesel engines. They can work a lot faster and still handle 20, 30, 32,000 PSI. How they work faster and why the resistance is much higher is because it's not a coil of wire. It is a stack of wafers called piezo wafers. There's several ways to make electricity by the way. One of them is the piezo effect and as you see this illustration right here you may recognize that if you like to barbecue you cook the steaks out. If you're not using charcoal, you're using propane. To light the propane, you could use a match or a lighter, or you could push that little button. That's a piezo igniter. As you push the button, you're pushing against spring pressure, and when the spring gets to a certain point, there's a release, and it slams a little pentel down against a stack of piezo wafers, making voltage, which creates that spark that ignites your gas grill. Do that in reverse, kind of like an electric motor. We put it in reverse, it becomes a generator, in this case, we're going to take voltage and apply it to that stack of piezo wafers, and that's going to then drive down the wafer stack, creating movement. It's a very small amount of movement. All of these solenoid, electromechanical, and piezo injectors move a tiny amount, but because the newer high-tech piezos are so fast, they're the preferred injector for new vehicles going forward, whether it be passenger cars or heavy duty equipment. So we're seeing the example there and we see the illustration of what is kind of an analogy of how these things work only in reverse. We're going to put voltage in them and those piezos then spread apart, they slim apart and they make the movement of the injector so we can spray fuel out the bottom. 